Hi, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we have an unboxing of the Shimano Ultegra BR R8070 front. Um, this is a flat mount caliper. Uh, it's the new Ultegra line. Um, as you can see there, you can use metal or resin pads for road, tri or cross. Um, looks like we've got a tick by resin. I'm not sure if you get any pads with this or um, we'll have a look. There's a lot of rattling going on inside. Um, that's what's on there and some other markings but let's get into it and see what we've got. So, so first thing is lift up and we can see sitting in there is the caliper. Now so we've got it here, caliper in the box, a lot of rattling going on in there so let's have a look, oh, that comes out like a spider, what have we got, aha, bag and some instructions, nothing else in the box that it can go to the side, so instructions, oh. They, oh, they're quite big. Thank you. So, I don't need this way. Um, warning. I don't have 203 or 180mm rotors, so that's fine. Um, I believe it is just, it is, it's just this half. This is the English section, this bit. Okay, so what have we got in? Notice safety information, don't put your fingers in the rotor when it's going around, that would be nice. Um, names of parts in case you were struggling, disc brake rotor and caliper, brake pads, yeah, how to, how to do it, things about mineral oil and stuff. So, we'll put that out my So, caliper itself, put that one out of the way for now. Caliper. Bigger than I expected. That's quite chunky, to be fair. Uh, as you can see, it's flat mount, so it'll flat it'll mount straight up on the on the fork. Yeah, Ching, like this. Um, we've got up for 140 mil. And yeah, I thought so. If we turn it over, up for 160 mil. So. Um, this is the front, yeah? I'm just checking the box again. I'm not sure if there's a difference between the front and the rear. Just the rear would lay down like this. The front will stand up. Um, I'm gonna be using 160 on the front, so I'm gonna to need to turn this, uh, unbolt this here, unbolt these, turn it around, stick it back. Um, that's actually wider than I thought it would be. It's not that heavy, to be fair. I'm um, just going to get my scales. So, caliper weighs in at 130 grams. 131, it's going up, it's alive. 100, 130, 131 grams. Um, okay, so we've got a port here. Um, obviously, that's where our uh, brake line goes. Sorry, that's actually the bleeding port. What a thicky. We have um, a piston block in there at the moment. And we've got a split ring and a screw in, um, this is a screw in brake pad retainer, yeah, with a split ring, hmm, curious. I just screw mine in on the other one, I don't use a split ring. Okay, uh, so there's the code number again, we've got some Torx bits uh, to take it apart, that's um, it's pretty cool. 
I must admit, there's not much to it till you get it working, but uh, thicker than I thought it would be. Yeah. As you can see, I'm like, yeah, thicker than I thought it would be. Not very heavy though. So, we'll put that out of the way. Right, I'm going to try hard not to touch these, not to touch the uh, surface. So, resin pads, it's a nice, uh, nice bit of brake compound on that one, it's good, looks nice. Right, what is this? This tool, we got the uh, brake pad spring. Is it labelled left and right? And the my one that I currently use is this one is not. So I just put them together. There we go. There you go, so they'll sit, they're nice and springy, they'll just sit inside, nice, two bolts, I think that's a cable clip, it's got a gripper on the inside, you can see the teeth there, it's got a gripper, and there is a, this very small bit of metal. It's kind of like that. Not sure what that is. No doubt I'll find out what it is. So put that all away. So that is our unboxing of some more bike bits ready to go on my bike when I, as I build it, as I get all the bits. We're getting close to building it, so awesome. That's today's video. Thank you. Like, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you soon. Bye.